is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. If you can believe it, September is almost over at this point. We are at the 20th of the month and at the end of the day really, Google just dropped Android 14 QPR 1. Super exciting actually. Definitely ready to do a deep dive into this quarterly platform release. Again, this is the first one for Android 14. What's really strange about this specific instance too is that we are getting QPR 1 before we even get Android 14 in stable release. Um, there's rumors that uh, Google had a big hiccup and speed bump or roadblock, whatever you want to call it, in getting this out. This is rumored to have been supposedly re been released about two weeks ago, if not more, and now it's been pushed to early October, possibly around the 4th or the 6th, when Google is actually going to unveil the next line of Pixel devices. This would be a first that it would not be dropping prior to the next Pixel coming out, but that's not here nor there. Let's focus stra straight on the new QPR1. We'll go over the build number, see if anything super terrific stands out right off the bat. If not, we'll do a deeper dive and have another video subsequent to this one coming in the near future. So let's go ahead, jump into it. Big thumbs up, really appreciate it, helps the channel out. Comment down below. Are you excited for the next line of Pixel devices? Are you happy for Android 14? Let's go. All right, Android 14 QPR 1 just finished installing. And let's go ahead and unlock this baby. And as we traditionally do, let's do the temperature check from the update. And right off the bat from when it was finishing, I can tell you this stayed substantially cooler than some other devices that we've used recently. Uh, not going to call out Apple directly, but Apple sucks with the heat management. and. That stands true here. The temperature you just saw is actually dropping rather than going up. So setting that to the side, let's talk about probably one thing that a lot of people are going to be super excited about right off the bat with this update. And that is now that you can finally change the aspect ratio of apps for larger displays. So if you are a Pixel Fold fan specifically, you can now go app by app or auto force all apps to change their aspect ratio as needed. What you're going to want to do for this one is actually go into settings and I'm going to set this down. We're going to go into settings, apps, and then aspect ratio. You can see here that is a new option and what you're going to do when you go into here, you can see it is letting you have a few different pre-selected options for sizing of applications. So if we want to pick one by one that we know does not specifically adhere to uh, filling up the full screen displays, let's do the one that everyone obviously wants is Instagram. Let's go ahead and just hop into that really quick. And you can see here, app default, full screen, half screen, or four to three aspect ratio. So if you want to go ahead and do full screen, this will now enable you to launch Instagram in a full screen aspect ratio. Keep in mind, however, that just because you're doing it this way, it does not necessarily look the best. Some images might be stretched out, but yes, you finally do have a full screen Instagram app if you so choose to use. That's one of the big ones. Next up, we're not going to demo this right now, but they have introduced a way to use your Android phone as a webcam. So when you plug your phone into a computer, you will see a new option that says USB webcam. You can now utilize it for that. Another exciting change in settings, actually, if you go into about phone and go for battery information, we now have a cycle count. So we've talked about this before to some degree. Obviously you can see this isn't even 100% accurate because we know we have more than one or zero cycles on this battery. It's not new at all. We've charged it a few times. So it looks like it is only taking the data current from when you install QPR beta one or QPR one. Um, so keep in mind, this still might not be exactly, um, accurate necessarily, but it is a start. Aside from these changes, you can now change the option for the display lock screen clock 
to not enable the two lines. So what I mean by that, and depending on what aspect and setting you have for your exterior display. So if we go ahead and just close all these links out, you have the one line clock or a two line clock with this other shifting around, right? Well, you can enable it to make sure it's only eligible to use that one line at a time or one line in general, I should say. If you actually, let me jump back in. If you actually go into your settings again now and go into display and lock screen, you now have a, it's kind of been reworded here, you now have this dynamic clock option that says clock size changes according to the lock screen content. You can turn this on or off. I keep it on so you will get that multi-line rather than just that single line if you want. There is also a new option for your lock screen. So, something pretty exciting. We have a new clock in here called Metro. And I will show you what this looks like. With and without it. I actually think that that is a pretty neat design. And again, look at how fluid that was. Oh, look at this, something stopped. Close it. Let's set wallpaper. Lock screen, home and lock. Okay, so look at the animations here as well. Did you catch that subtlety when it locks and unlocks? I'll zoom in a little bit for you. So Android is really step, stepping up its transition game here. I think that's pretty awesome. Um, another new feature in this build that was found is there is a new Bluetooth audio device setting. So when you connect a new Bluetooth device, it'll actually enable you to choose between what type of audio devices. You can choose between if it's a speaker, headphones, car kit, hearing aids, or something completely else. That is nice um, for other spatial audio tasks and items that might adhere to that. Um, it is a good addition to see there as well. You can also now set up different live wallpapers on the lock screen and home screen, kind of like what you were just seeing going on here as well. Another feature, and let's see if we can get this to do it, is if you're actually in, or if you actually utilize, I should say, the Pixel Launcher itself, if you long press on here, there are some times, and it's again not all the time, but there are some times where this option will come up that will enable you to edit the home screen. That is exactly what the toggle says, and for some reason, obviously, since I want it to work now, it's not going to want to, but Similar to where these three options are, you will have another one that does say edit home screen and it will let you really add or remove multiple items from your home screen without having to consistently reselect everything. Um, again, it should be a long press like this and it would come up, but again, as it is a beta build, it is not there 100% just yet. So one other thing that is new is app pairing. You are somewhat able to select multiple apps in here. Again, it is very hit and miss. It is not coming up for us. It is still very buggy. But anyways, you will have an option to app pair and then you will be able to do it right from Jump Street like we were just looking at. If it was an option, you can pair them together. Can't, couldn't change names still and stuff like that, but that was one of the big changes here as well. And then also, we have a new option. Let's see if it wants to pull up that is kind of tucked away as well that is a brand new floating search bar in your actual uh actually it's really accessible through recent apps or the app search bar or app drawer bar but again not coming up just now the coding is there so it is something to be aware of coming in the near future so a lot of features in the first beta here for android 14 qpr1 let us know what's your favorite we'll be doing a ton more deep dives Shout out to Michelle on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it. He found a lot of these as well. Go follow him if you're looking for the latest uh, Android news. Thanks for watching, guys. We will catch you in the next one. Peace.